The more you practice, the better you're going to get. Like I said, I can teach you how to be an airbrusher, but I can't teach you how to be a better artist. Right now, we're talking about speed. Last segment, if you watched it, hopefully you did, and the segment before, and then before. Yeah, hopefully you've been watching the whole series. Anyway, now we're going to go to the rat tail. You want to do them as fast as possible. Practice long ones. The faster you move, the straighter they're going to be. Of course, mine are going to be kind of wavy because I'm trying to turn to the side a little bit so you can see my hand and see what I'm doing. But if you want to do them perfectly straight, you got to do them fast. And do them big. Don't be afraid of your paint. The faster you move, and do it from backwards too. That's a good practice to go backwards with it. See that? Some people can't do that. Some of these other airbrushers, ask them to do a backwards rat tail or a backwards dagger stroke. And someone will tell you, hey, you know what? Forget it. I can't do it. But if you practice it, it's going to help you in the long run. Just practice, practice, practice. Do curved rat tails. They don't always have to be straight. Just keep practicing, practicing, practicing. Curve them, make them straight, backwards. Curve them the other direction. It's always best, you notice how some people that are right-handed, they, they can draw a nice curve this way but they can't do it this way, that's because they didn't practice it. Do it both directions. Do it upside down. Every direction. Because you're going to use it. Later on in one of the other segments, I'm going to show you how to do a scene that you're going to need to be able to do them in all different directions. Thank you.